Okay, this is a video of the first time I have set up and run my shoebox compressor. So, shoebox compressor. And um, so I have it set up with a, I don't even know what the details of this compressor are. So, 1.5 horsepower, 4 gallon, and then you can see all the other details there, up to a maximum of 155 PSI. Um, so, that's the first line compressor, and then the second line compressor is the shoebox. So the first line compressor needs to have an output of about, you can see there, you focus on it, 85. So you can see I have it set output to 85. And then the shoebox compressor will climb all the way to 4,500 PSI. Get it focus. So this is the shoebox, and... I have the cover off of it, so here's the cover. Cover goes on the front and protects all of the inner workings of the shoebox. But um, so there's the input right there, output, um, and this is a special hose to handle 4,500 psi. Um, a nice gauge. You can see it goes up to 6,000 psi. And uh, here's the release valve here. And I also have a second release valve right there. The right above so this knob right there is released and then once again this knob right here is released and then it inputs into my 4500 psi tank so this can go to 4500 psi um, that's a carbon fiber wrap tank so I'm going to show you guys it running so the instructions say don't run it with the cover off but I see no danger in it as long as like I don't have my cat or anyone run into it as long as I don't run it for hours like that so I'm gonna run it with the cover off so you guys can see how it works and there it is so um, it takes four hours uh, to compress and every about five to ten minutes the compressor the first line compressor uh, kicks on uh, refills the, the two tanks there and um, continues to feed 85 pressure into the shoebox and then this gauge uh, will slowly rise over a four hour period to 4,500 psi and you can see that I've already run it a little bit so that it has already increased to maybe about 100 psi maybe that is and uh, yeah so I'll post exactly what the products are at the bottom of this YouTube video so you can see the exact products that I'm using and um, make this setup for yourself if you want so it supposedly according to the manual takes uh, five cents per hour operating I don't know if that's true or not and then one other thing is I am using white lithium grease um, for lubricating the moving parts inside of this Every time I fill a tank, I will lubricate it with white lithium. Okay, thanks for watching.